Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com on Roku Dwyer Boxing News. You know, I'm not a fan of college football. I view college football to be really a exploitation system designed to transfer wealth from athletes with big time market power toward member colleges. Right? These schools are making windfall profits. What they've done is they've mandated that these athletes take unpaid internships in order to play college football. You don't even have an opportunity to opt out of the system. If I'm a wealthy athlete, the day I arrive on campus, I can't say, okay, look, I'm not taking any money from you. I'll pay my own way. Just let me play and just allow me to opt out of these ridiculous NCAA requirements. Not only that, the athlete can't even say, you know what, keep your scholarship, but allow me to participate in the profits. Right? The athlete has no bargaining power. This is your prototypical adhesion contract. Right? Some schools have gotten together and, of course, they've formed a monopoly where they can now say to athletes, take it or leave it. We're going to just give you a scholarship to go to this school. In other words, we're going to give you a scholarship worth ten to $50,000 a year. And in return, Cam Newton, in return, Johnny Manziel, you're going to play for us. You're going to generate millions of dollars for us. You're going to have us on network TV. You're going to have us receiving millions of dollars from advertising your likeness and from making a bowl game and being in front of alumni. <clears throat> Not only that, you're going to help us collect millions more from alumni who are proud of what the school has accomplished on the football field and we're not going to share any of that with you right I know private employers across the country would love to have superstar talent and would love to be able to say to that superstar talent we're gonna pay you the value of a college scholarship annually for salary knowing that no other employer is allowed to offer them more than that right this is obvious exploitation understand too that the risks are huge they don't even compensate you for the risk we've seen torn ACLs broken bones concussions in football every year right there's not a single college football season that goes by where someone doesn't get hurt in a meaningful way right the risk is real but yet of course what we tell these athletes is we're gonna give you the equivalent of twenty to fifty thousand dollars a year right the only reason in my opinion that this is able to continue is because of age discrimination right older people just don't feel that 18 and 19 year olds should be paid what they're worth because certainly if these guys were performing at the level at which they're performing when they were 35 and 36 everyone would understand that they should be paid their fair market value now the problem with ignoring the market and having some political system that transfers wealth from athletes to colleges is that it leads to preposterous politics that don't reflect reality. Let's talk about what's happening right now with Johnny Manziel. Now understand, Johnny Manziel, Texas A&M's quarterback, has played exactly one year of college football. And in that year, Johnny Manziel won the Heisman. In other words, there is no question that this guy has fully delivered for his school. He has completely performed. He's the only freshman.
to ever win the Heisman Trophy, right? If anyone has received the benefit of the bargain, it's been Texas A&M, right? Manziel has delivered. All Manziel has received is the value of a college scholarship. Right, Texas A&M, by contrast, has literally made millions of dollars off of this kid. <clears throat> In a market-based economy, this kid would be a superstar employee, right? There's only one Heisman Trophy winner every year. This kid, first year out the box, wins the Heisman Trophy for you. And, of course, he plays quarterback, a very important position on a football field. So, of course, I turn on my TV today and I'm watching ESPN. And what do I see on ESPN? But, of course, several SEC deep reporters, right, criticizing Johnny Manziel. Not because Johnny Manziel did anything in any way to shortchange his team. Manziel hasn't done anything to lose a single game for Texas A&M. Right, understand, in terms of regular season performance, this guy is A+. Plus. He's the Heisman Trophy winner. No, they're criticizing Johnny Manziel for his decision during his free time <clears throat> to leave the Manning football camp. A voluntary camp. Absurd. Ridiculous. The guy's reputation now is being dragged in the mud. Not because he failed to deliver in a big game. Not because he's not the best quarterback Texas A&M has had for quite some time. Not even because he's made a lot of money. Because we know in this slave situation that is college football he hasn't made any money right no after exploiting this kid and making millions of dollars plural off this kid for his football performance on the field now of course the culture the sec beat writers etc the culture is trying to cannibalize this kid not because he ever showed up unprepared for a game, but simply because he went to the Manning camp and it wasn't for him. Right now we're even hearing, God forbid, that this college guy may have actually had an alcoholic beverage or two, maybe three, during his free time at a voluntary football camp. The horror. Well, let me just say, <clears throat> to Johnny Manziel, if I were you, I'd get the hell out of College Station. That's a losing situation. College football is a joke. If you haven't figured out that it's an exploitative system, look around you right now. What have you ever done to let down your team? If the answer is nothing, then you need to realize that this scene is impossible to work with to every college athlete out there who is good enough to be drafted into pros. Understand that by just being in the area code of a college campus, you're at risk. Right? You got so many political yahoos out there looking for some story to bring down even a superstar who wins the Heisman Trophy his first year that in my opinion it's just not worth it for the athlete if you want to improve your game right if you want to literally refine your prototype skills then my advice to you is to get professional coaches right in my opinion athletes are better off hearing about how to be quarterback from NFL quarterback coaches than they are
from the recruiters masquerading as college football coaches. Right? This entire Johnny Manziel story, this whole controversy, just underscores how ridiculous the current system is. Right? These players, if they're not getting paid, the player needs to ask themselves why they're taking the risk of permanent injury, of ending any chance they have of ever going to the pros. Let me go one step further. Chris Mortensen, ESPN's Chris Mortensen. I love Mort. His football reporting is always A+. Plus. He's one of my go-to guys for football information. Mortensen today was reporting that because Johnny Manziel is a little bit shorter, as Mort put it, vertically challenged, like Russell Wilson and like Drew Brees, he would slip out of the first round of the draft. Right? The NFL is a hard league. Mortensen believed that Manziel would probably be a third round pick today. Right? According to Mortensen, the pros want to see how Manziel does his second year in college football. Of course, Manziel doesn't have a choice because the rules don't allow him, believe it or not, to leave college to even throw his hat in the ring in a supplemental NFL draft. Right? He couldn't even do that. He's chained to his college team until at least the end of the school year. Right? Well, my point is simply this. You're kidding yourself. If you don't believe that some NFL team wouldn't take the chance to draft Johnny Manziel if he never played another game of college football, knowing that if Manziel is as good as advertised, if he is the next, Drew Brees or Russell Wilson, then that team's going to make millions of dollars. You want to know the market value of quarterbacks? Take a look at Joe Flacco's contract. Take a look at Matthew Stafford's new contract. Right, That's the market value for starting quarterbacks in the National Football League. Take a look at Tony Romo's contract. Right, Think about it. Those guys make more in a quarter than Johnny Manziel will be making this entire year at Texas A&M. And, of course, because college is a political system, not a market-based system, Johnny Manziel is going to face much higher scrutiny than the pro quarterbacks I've just discussed. I don't think any of us would care if Matthew Stafford had a beer at a voluntary football camp. If Drew Brees went to the Manning camp and then said, you know what, there are other things I want to do, like brush my teeth, sleep, play with my kids. No one would care if he left the camp early. But when you're a college kid, not only are you, are you getting exploited financially, you're also getting exploited emotionally, right? If you, you know, show up driving a car that some beat reporter feels is too new, they're going to claim you're on the take. If you use a curse word or you have a drink, people are going to claim that you belong in Sodom and Gomorrah that you're morally depraved, and that you're not worthy of getting drafted in the National Football League draft. It's a joke. My advice to young athletes, if you're able to leave school and to then use the time to prepare for the draft, and if you know with certainty, and this is the wrinkle, that you're going to get drafted relatively early, first, second, third rounds, then in my opinion, Playing college football is a complete waste of time. You can even plug in college basketball. Shabazz Muhammad played one year at UCLA, wisely left to go to the pros. My point is simply this. The pros knew about Shabazz Muhammad, just like many of us know about McDonald's high school All-American basketball players. Right? We know the LeBron Jameses, the Shabazz Muhammads, when they're in high school. Right? If you understand the risk and understand that your name might be dragged in the mud while all you're trying to do 
is to help enrich some university and at least attend your freshman year of college. Right When you know your name's going to get dragged through the mud, as Shabazz Muhammad's name was dragged through the mud last year, you might want to consider sitting out the year, just using that year to work with pro coaches. You do have a cottage industry now, people like Jeff Garcia in football and others, who former pro players, who actually are you know giving instruction and tutoring to prospective um, pro athletes, right? high schoolers with pro ambitions. You might do better, quite frankly, honing your game away from this NCAA circus atmosphere privately with a private tutor than by actually showing up on campus. Because I can assure you, after looking at these Johnny Manziel stories, that even if you show up on campus and become the first freshman in history to win the Heisman, even before you play your first game of your sophomore season. This political machine could come down against you even when you haven't violated any laws, you haven't committed a felony, perhaps you dared have alcoholic beverages at a quarterback camp. Absurd. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. To the haters, I say back up off Johnny Manziel. Right? Feel lucky. Feel fortunate that you have a guy this talented, this young, who's willing to put up with this level of political machinery in college football. Right? Absurd. The kid should be congratulated. Quite frankly, alumni should be shaking the kid's hand. Not criticizing the kid. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.